Welcome to lesson number 3 in MIL. Media Literacy and its role in society and advertising. Being media and information literate is a 21st century skill that we as individuals must be able to possess. Engaging ourselves in a technologically driven society requires familiarity with these two domains to be able to express ideas and messages to other people in an ethical way. People receive media differently because of various reasons and motives. But what does the word media actually means? The original means of mass communication were print, magazines, journals, and newspapers and everything printed in publications. Writers borrowed the term media from the advertising world and since then it has been used to accommodate these means of communication. It is true that technology has improved our ways of communication, watching television is considered as the new age mass communication. Advertisers has since then targeted the masses through commercials and advertisements that would fuel them to buy their products, earn profit, and be a household name. So good. 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 Remember Lala Teki from the famous Buy and Tell commercial? Always remember that when you see any type of media, ask yourself these five important questions. 1. Who created the message? The advertisers, the company that produced it and its reputation. 2. What creative techniques were used to attract my attention? the treatment and approach used to gain your interest about it. How might different people appreciate and understand these messages? Is there a group of people that would find this offensive? What lifestyles, value systems, perspectives, and points of views are represented in this message? And lastly, why is this message being sent to me? Why am I part of this campaign and why does this concern me? Media literacy is a repertoire of skills and capacities. The most common definition is the ability to access, analyze, and respond to a range of media. Whether print like flyers, newspaper ads, or in other multimedia formats like commercials, Facebook advertisements and even from billboards. Access, indicates the knowledge where to find these forms of media. Explore around technology and easily adjust to technological advancements. It is very important to practice the ability to adapt to tech advancements to be able to produce practical output that is useful whether for school or for the community. Analysis, reflectively and critically think on what has been read, seen, or experienced. Messages hidden in different media forms will be easier to understand if an individual is media and information literate. Response, experience, and explore the pleasures of media text, and how these are realized through the language of media. It is also important to not only understand hidden context but also to respond to it properly and in the correct platform. Golden Triangle of Media The ethical usage of media relies on the hands of its users. It's either they get manipulated or the other way around, take for example when you and your family is watching television together. Each show has more than three or four gaps in which commercials will be shown. And most of the time everyone has their own preferences in which commercials captures their attention or is part of their interest. Mom likes the ads for cooking. While dad for the cars. And the child loves the ones that have jingles. This is because every member in the household is targeted by advertisers depending on your preferences and interests. The golden triangle of media works this way. A message is conceptualized by the advertisers and its creative team. At the same time critically thinking of the demographics of their market. And finally which media or platform is the best one to catapult this idea into a successful campaign. The media triangle is a framework that can make or break a good marketing strategy. If one factor of the three doesn't fit well it might lead to failure. 
This is also the same strategy that social media sites are using to capture your interest about a particular product or ad. Have you ever wondered why an ad appeared on your social media timeline? And have you also asked yourself? Why is this being shown in my timeline even though I do not have any interest about it? This is mainly because advertisers classified you as part of their target market. They gathered your personal information like interests, likes, previous activities and even places you've been to that is why your information is important for them as it fuels their what so called propaganda. Advertisers use different types of techniques in promotion, which is called propaganda. Considered as the art of persuasion, propaganda is intended to make consumers believe, accept, or approve something without looking closely at it or experiencing it firsthand. Types of Propaganda 1. Testimonial A testimonial is a recommendation from a celebrity or a known personality, which is promoted to be a user of the product being when endorsed. A little pink in the sink. I thought I'm just brushing too hard. Toothpaste can do that. Only Colgate Total reduces plaque by up to 98%, and gingivitis by up to 88%. Field AD technical experts are also used to engage consumers and give them an idea that this product is expert approved. Because I saw results. Colgate Total has complete 12-hour protection. For a free product trial, visit colgatetotal.com slash offer. Colgate Total, number one recommended by dental professionals. Complete 12-hour protection. Bandwagon. This technique is commonly used in advertisements that promotes that everyone is using this product and so should you. The bandwagon propaganda encourages consumers to buy a product solely because of the idea that everyone is using it as well. It will leave the audience feeling the need to jump into the trend of using these products. 3. Heart strings. Emotions are triggered in this type of technique. Ads nowadays usually are heartfelt and filled with emotions that the audience would relate to. But this Ndu ad will always be a classic. These advertisements aims to leave the consumers feeling good and wanting to buy the product because they relate to the feelings involved in the commercial. Now that is part one of our lesson for this week. Media literacy and its role in advertising and society. See you again next week.